everyone. Welcome back to the FPX Nickel uh, YouTube channel. My name is Martin Turen. I'm the CEO of the company, and I'm joined today by our project manager, Madeline Pease. M Madeline is here to help me uh, uh, discuss and describe the results of a news release we've put out on, Mar on May 31st. Um, this release is focused on describing the results of more testing at the University of British Columbia on carbon sequestration in our tailings. This really follows on several years of work that we've done in this field. Uh, to better understand how the unique mineralogy at uh, FPX's uh, Baptiste deposit in central BC can be leveraged to naturally sequester carbon dioxide in tailings and in waste rock and potentially you know, move this project to being uh, potentially a very large producer of low carbon or protect, potentially even zero carbon nickel uh, for the market. Uh, so, Madeline, I wonder if you could tell us maybe, you know, uh, what's one of the highlights, I guess, in terms of uh, the type of material that was tested during this program? Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, the we know that the particle size of the material is a plays a really key role in the practical implementation of uh, forced air injection into tailings material. So these experiments were seeking to compare different representative types of tailings products that would each have a different particle size distribution. And so the first of those was a whole tailings stream or something that, you know, would come out of mineral processing and be stored in a conventional slurry tailings facility. And then the second and third were uh, material that, you know, was created to mimic something that had undergone uh, cycloning to produce a coarse fraction that could use, could construct a dam, and then the finer fraction that would be stored behind that dam. And then importantly, as well for uh, these experiments, the testing was done on material that uh, originate from metallurgical test work that we know has a representative brucite content uh, of the deposit as a whole. So the material had a brucite content of about 1.3 to 1.5 percent. Yeah, so it's really important. Some of the past work that we've done has been on material that maybe had a, a, a higher brucite content or wasn't necessarily as representative of the particle size distribution of real tails. So that, that was a big takeaway for me, for sure, from this test work. Um, what about the results themselves? What can you tell us about how much CO2 was sequestered over the experimental uh, duration and kind of how quickly or how slowly that, that, that sequestration occurred? Yeah, so interestingly, and, and I think what was a good news story is that it was fairly consistent for, for each of these experiments. And so uh, they all saw a sequestration of a, in the order of seven to eight grams of CO2 sequestered for every kilogram of Baptiste tailings material. And also interestingly, you know, the reaction occurred relatively quickly, uh, you know, with more than 50% of the reaction occurring in the first three and a half days out of the 14 day experiment. Great, okay. So, you know, I mentioned earlier, this is an area we've been working on for, for several years and, and continue to work on. Um, you know, some of the work that we have underway right now with the folks at uh, UBC is focused on uh, direct air capture. So can you tell us a little bit more about what we're doing there and uh, when we can potentially expect to see some results of that work? Yeah, so in addition to these uh, air injection experiments, um, there have been some direct air capture experiments ongoing, uh, one of which uh, for was an experiment for about six months and the other for about 12, which that one is still currently ongoing. And we expect we'll have results of both of those to report uh, later this year. Great, thanks Madeline. Um, so uh, hope everyone enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please leave them uh, in comments below the video here. Or if you have direct questions for me or the rest of the team, you can email me at ceo at fpxnickel.com. Uh, until next time, thanks again for watching.